Workout started. GPS on. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Carlos. I'm at on the corner of Garnet and Cedar Hill Road. Just about to start my run to the golf course. I'll be running the pause button today. So uh, this first little bit isn't terribly interesting. But pretty soon, when I get to the quieter part of the golf course, I will be recording full-time, real-time. So I'm feeling pretty good. My heel isn't 100% healed, but uh, it's fine. If I run three or four times a week, it doesn't get too aggravated, which is good. Just coming up on the first minute. So I'm almost at the highest point on Wend. Wend Road winds its way from Garnet to Brayfoot Road. I have run the golf course loop literally hundreds of times. I've even recorded at least 10 or 15 times this very same route that I'm going to do now. This is going to be podcast's pace around 8 minutes. So I have a little bit of time to make up 8 minutes or better will get me what I need today, which is about, I think it's 52 minutes or something. That's okay. I have my e-bike locked up at fairways. And when I finish my run, I will buy my groceries and then ride home and upload this plot cast. My next average pace should be eight or less. Time six minutes. Distance zero point seventy four kilometers. Average heart rate one hundred forty. Workout average pace eight minutes five seconds per kilometer. It's coming down. Eight minutes five. So I'm down to 7 minutes 40 something per kilometer. So I'm going to walk this little section. My heart rate was spiking around 150, which is a bit high for 10 minutes in to my run. But it levels off soon, both my heart rate and the terrain until I get past King's Pond and then it starts to go up again. Morning. Time 10 minutes. Distance 1.27 kilometers. Average heart rate 155. Workout average pace 7 minutes 53 seconds per kilometer. There you see. 155. It's a little high. But it's the excitement of it all. I'm sure. I've just had a seven or eight minute e-bike ride to fairways. That didn't excite me too much. But since I've started running and recording, my heart is pounding. But just let me run to the corner. And then it's downhill to King's Pond. So far I've got about, let's see, 
five minutes recorded. Thirty one to go. Average heart rate ninety four. Work out average pace seven minutes fifty eight seconds per kilometer. I should be able to finish the run slightly better than that. Down I go. I listened to Jim's show yesterday. Jim and Anthony. They put out a good show. Just over an hour. I suspect that uh, JD had to do some splicing and dicing to put that one together. Time 12 minutes. Distance 1.54 kilometers. Average heart rate 156. Workout average pace 7 minutes 47 seconds per kilometer. So, here's the pond. And here are the ducks. I will walk through them and start running at the other side. Everything is very full of water. This is quite often just a dry meadow, but not today. Work out again. There's a lot of ducks here today, so I really should respect their space. I have run through here before, and they've hardly moved out of my way. It's amazing. There's a different kind of duck. There's always one joker. Oh, the pretty ducks. Look at them all. Come on, move out of the way. Move out of the way, ladies. Alright. I better start running again. Let me just put my camera away and then I'll start running again. All right, I'm up to eight minutes now. Eight minutes of audio. So 28 minutes more. That should get me around the golf course. Time 14 minutes. Distance 1.71 kilometers. Average heart rate 119. Workout average pace 8 minutes 12 seconds per kilometer. Yep, I'm going to have to work a little bit on the hills. Hello. Up I go. It's a bit soggy, but not too bad. The chip trail is quite well drained, but this is packed to gravel. As I hit my first traditional hike on this part of the golf course. minutes. Distance 1.87 kilometers. Average heart rate 162. Workout average pace 8 minutes 1 second per kilometer. <laughs> 162. That's like a zone 4. <sighs> There's a bit of a dip soon and then a bit of a climb again. 
and then it's down to the rec centre. I was reading up a bit on this area to give you some historical background. This whole Cedar Hill Park area was originally where the coastal Salish communities would come to hunt for food. Time 16 minutes. Distance 1.96 kilometers. Average heart rate 146. Workout average pace 8 minutes 8 seconds per kilometer. As the name implies, Coastal Salish, they set up their, uh, their camps, their towns, their settlements on the coast. And they used to communicate by sea. He built his one half of Yeah. He built by going through. Then, uh, they settled here in Cadbro Bay basically and came up into the woods to get small game and hunt for food. Hi. And then the Europeans arrived and took over the whole area. Time 17 minutes. Distance 2.06 kilometers. Average heart rate 142. Workout average pace 8 minutes 12 seconds per kilometer. The Hudson Bay Company used to trade with the Indians, with the natives, with the First Nations settlement. Up I go again. Up to James Heights. I will take a photograph of the sign for James Heights, even though it's kind of cacked up with moss and stuff. Gives you an idea of how green everything is around here still. This is, it's called this is as cold and as unpleasant as it gets. Could be worse, it could be raining, but it isn't, thank goodness. So now I have some nice swoopy downhills to do till I get to Derby for those following on the map. Hello. I run the coming by. Hi. Hello. There's a large group of Chinese people. This is the other water feature, or one of the other water features. King's Pond isn't really a water feature because technically it's not on the golf course. It's adjoining the golf course. Time 19 minutes, distance 2.37 kilometers, average heart rate 133, workout average pace 7 minutes 59 seconds per kilometer. There we go, just on target. So this is now. Soggy chip, wood chip. I'm just coming up to the million dollar view, which I will take the opportunity of making another short video clip to be inserted into my relive fly-by movie. Time 20 minutes. Distance 2.54 kilometers. Average heart rate 143. Workout average pace 7 minutes 51 seconds per kilometer. Time for hydration. It's up 20 minutes in. 
and I'm already faster than my target pace. So I will take this break, a little break. I'm not trying to improve my speed. I'm just trying to improve my cardio fitness by not overstressing my little heart. I've already done that many, many times between the ages of 45 and 55. And I'm now 69. Hello. Run are coming by. Okay, so I will stop the video for this thing. Coming by again. Thank you. Down I go. So there's the other water feature. The big one. That one has a little waterfall. Getting back to the history of this area. The Hudson Bay Company sold this plot of land to the McRae family, which they farm. They farm this area for many years, for quite a few generations. Hello. But then eventually the patriarch of the family died and the property got subdivided and sold off in chunks. One part was built, was converted into a nine-hole golf course, and then in the around the 1990s they made another purchase and made it into an 18-hole golf course and successfully fought off attempts to redevelop this. So this is always going to be now a municipal park with a municipal golf course on it. So this is where I say goodbye to the video people and continue in audio only. Yep. Let's see how the recording is going. I'm up to 18 minutes. So another 18 minutes to go. Halfway to my goal, so to speak, in terms of audio. Lots of dog action going on. Hi. So I'm at the back of the rec centre now, where they have built an indoor tennis facility. But originally, where the rec centre now stands, it was the cow shed for the McRae farm. And the McRae house, the farmhouse, has been designated a heritage house. So it will be preserved as is for perpetuity. As I take a photograph of my nemesis escaping on me. I might catch up with her on the next section. This one I always hike 
because it's quite a long hill. It's about 200 meters long and it gets progressively steeper from about here to the top. And then I turn in front of the vanilla ice cream house and then I do the section by the catalpa trees then along the chip trail again to Glacier Place, King's Pond and then Queensberry Road back to Brayfoot and Wend and that is where I will end on Wend. Coming up on the Chinese family again. <laughs> yep, they look familiar now. I think they're part of the family, the extended family that own Fairway Markets. Time 31 minutes. Distance 3.87 kilometers. Average heart rate 139. Workout average pace 7 minutes 59 seconds per kilometer. So, still under 8. That's good. I can improve on that quite soon because this hike will become a run once I crest. Hello. Hey. Once I crest this hill. This is a little bit like my high intensity interval training. I do the hill, I hike, I do the next run, I hike, I do another hill, I hike. Yep, my criteria is keep it under 150 beats and keep it around my target pace. Time 32 minutes, distance 3.96 kilometers, average heart rate 141, workout average pace 8 minutes 4 seconds per kilometer. So I have to make up a bit of time again. Here I go. So the McCrae's had this whole area as a farm and then the municipality bought it off them to prevent the development of houses. And then the municipality put the golf course in. Hello, runner behind. Runner behind you. So this is Derby. This is where the clubhouse is. The new clubhouse. The old one burnt down in the 90s. Now I have the chip. Swoopy, swoopy chip. Running behind. Heart rate 145. Workout average pace 8 minutes 1 second per kilometer. 8 minutes 1. It gets progressively harder to whittle down my pace because it's been averaged from the beginning of the run. So each segment is less of a factor. It's just trending slightly faster than eight. My heart rate is elevated at the moment. Oh, 
it works out around two and a half, three minutes of running and then about 30 seconds of walking. Time 35 minutes, distance 4.37 kilometers, average heart rate 146, workout average pace 8 minutes per kilometer. There you go, bang on. Hello. What I like about this course is that there's hello, there's no traffic noise. We're always far enough away from the roads. This is Croatia place. Another up, another hike. I'm guessing that my average heart rate will be around the 140 when I'm done. I just don't want it to get much higher than 140 something. That's quite high enough. For an old man like me with arterial stenosis. Yes, indeed. My arteries. Time 37 minutes. Distance 4.62 kilometers. Average heart rate 147. Workout average pace 7 minutes 59 seconds per kilometer. My arteries are thin, they don't extend. So. If the heart is beating too hard, there would be too much back pressure on the pump. And that's what creates cardiac distress. Hello, jogger behind. Thank you. Last little bit of up and I'm done with the golf course at 28.50 of audio or 28.0 28.10 to Time be precise distance 4.79 kilometers average heart rate 137 workout average pace 7 minutes 56 seconds per kilometer yep that is what I would like to finish at my average pace 7.50 Hi, run behind. Coming through. Thank you. And up and out to the right. So I'm just coming up on Cedar Hill Crossroad. It'll be noisy when I hit the button on the pedestrian crosswalk. And then I go to Wend, which will be quiet again. I've crossed the crossroad 
Now I'm heading towards Wend with six minutes more to record and about eight minutes more to run. I'll probably be at Sean Cliff by then. And then I cut through into Garnet to finish in around 48 minutes. This is running on the side of the road. Yep, a young man passed me and he's going the same way. Same way as I am upwind. Excuse me. Hopefully, I will get the groceries that I need for my early week nutrition. I still have a piece of salmon in the freezer, which I will probably take out and eat tomorrow. The young man just stopped at the top of the climb that I'm walking put his hands on his hips, leaned forward, and then carried on jogging. Time so. 44 minutes, distance 5.63 kilometers, average heart rate 144, workout average pace 7 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. He's obviously feeling the effort of the run. All right, four minutes more to record. Luckily, it hasn't been too windy, so there shouldn't be any wind noise from my arm swing. Hopefully not. Get a nice view of Mount Doug. Unfortunately, it's broken up by the branches of the trees and the roofs of the houses on either side. I've been eating a little onion soup for the last couple of days, thanks to the pigs. He was offering me, the farmer that is, not the pigs, the farmer was offering me large Spanish onions, perfect for making onion soup, big soft onions. Hi. And what with the chicken stock that I had from boiling some limbs and some carcass of chicken. I made a very nice soup to eat. With my whole wheat bread that turned out pretty nicely on Thursday. Today is Sunday and the bread is half gone. The onion soup is almost finished. I have one bowlful left. And then I'm going to make sautéed vegetables with spaghetti and tomato sauce. Still no meat. I'll leave the salmon for Monday. I might actually buy some eggs and some meat this time in Fairways. I also have to buy cream. So true to my predictions, I will be finished very shortly. 
I just have the rest of Garnet to run. Thirty-five minutes and counting. One thing I liked about, uh, well, uh, other than the fact that that, uh, JD and Anthony recorded a show was that JD had to actually stop talking because he was not running at podcaster's pace. He was doing a Chris Twiggs speed session. So he now can understand when I run with John that sometimes there's not very much air to spare. As I reach Cedar Hill Road, I will say bye-bye to you from my Sunday show and uh, have a wonderful rest of the week. I guess next week will count being Sunday. I will say bye-bye to you now. Bye-bye.